guys, so today I thought I'd do a makeup tutorial. I wasn't planning on doing this, but someone wrote a comment below saying that they missed my beauty videos. I don't think anyone would ever miss my beauty videos, but um, I obviously want to produce content that you want to see. So I thought, my parents are out the house for 20 minutes, so let's get something done. I thought I'd do a chatty one so I can talk to you guys while I do it. So the look I've chosen is one that Kirsten Stewart was wearing at Cannes Film Festival. I don't know why I thought I'd do her actually. I think I kind of relate to her in a little way because um, obviously she clearly enjoys the art form of acting, but it's clear that she doesn't like everything that comes with it. And I guess I kind of feel like that about YouTube. Like I would hate to ever become like a famous YouTuber, but at the same time you want to be as successful and as good as what you do as you can. So it's that weird combination of being ambitious, but but also not quite wanting to be like one of the biggest or the best. So yeah, I kind of relate to that. So I'm just putting on some primer and I'm still using my um, Stay Time Longwear Primer by Seventeen, which was cheap as chips. I'm looking really shockingly bad on camera today. I think the lighting's quite bad, but Oh well, so I'm going to just apply my Tarte foundation with my fingers. Kirsten um, Stewart is obviously a little bit more pale than I am. She's got that lovely ethereal um, kind of beauty um, where she can kind of nail that pale and interesting look. Um, I went to Mallorca so I've got a little bit of colour on my face at the moment. Let me just get a bit closer up. Is that better? Probably not better for you guys because you get to see up close and personal. Um, so I thought I'd just explain why you may have noticed there's been a lack of like proper videos on the channel because um, I'm finding my arms to be extremely painful at the moment. Like even holding this mirror up while I do this is quite uncomfortable. So the thought of um, filming lots of beauty tutorials and just videos that require, you know, moving the tripod around a lot and setting up lights and all that sort of stuff, it's been quite off-putting. Um, and I don't know whether it is to do with my chronic fatigue and it's just I've got really tired limbs at the moment, or whether it's like RSI, repetitive strain injury. It's really hard to know because when you've been feeling poorly for a few years, you almost forget what are normal painful sensations and what's kind of a normal amount of pain that's acceptable. Um, your kind of reference is a bit skewed, so I don't really know what's going on, but I've had to have Simon help me blow dry my hair um, and things like that, which I hate having to ask him to do that. but. The other day I just was just flopping on the bed and just couldn't bear the thought of having to hold my arms up for that long. I'm going to have to keep taking breaks actually. Oh, okay, so let's see, what am I looking at? That looks really uneven, but trust me, in real life it's not that bad. So, I've got my foundation on. She's not one for like Kardashian contouring, obviously she's a bit more of a like an edgy indie chick, so I'm not going to do anything too drastic, just a very subtle sweep. Very subtle sweep, like that. Um, so yeah, so Sai went to Chicago yesterday um, to a wedding. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford to go, so I've been left at home. But actually, it means I've got a weekend to myself. I can get those annoying jobs done that um, you know you never get round to doing when there's someone else around. Um, I could have like some baths as well, hopefully. Uh, just using my collection can do that because I've got a bit of redness around the nose at the moment. Um, so yeah, so I'm not, I'm not too sad. I'm sad I'm missing the wedding, obviously, and of course I'm missing you, Sai, if you're watching this. But it's not all bad. Um, I've got things like invoices and um, paperwork and all that sort of dull stuff to do as well. So let's, ugh, got a hair, ugh. Uh, let's put these eyebrows in. 
I need to go back to Benefit actually because I loved it when they um, dyed and shaped my eyebrows and then I didn't have to really do much every day. Just made my face have a bit more to it. I feel like I've got a quite a boring bland face but having the darker brows kind of gave me a bit more of a noticeable feature I guess. Um, so cheeks. A bit of pink to the cheeks as per usual. I'm just using my collection, um, I think I'll just show you the back of it, my collection um, blush that I always use. I'm really annoyed because I first wrote a review of it ages ago and it, it was complimentary but it wasn't like a gushy review. I like noted some flaws and stuff but since living with it for a while I absolutely love it and it's my all time favourite so I do recommend collection um, the blush palette for sure. So I ordered my first Lime Crime purchase recently. Obviously there's a lot of controversy surrounding Lime Crime so I did my research first um, and wanted to know a bit more about that but I decided to give it a go and because the colours were just right up my alley, it's kind of those grungy colours. I think it actually is called the Venus Grunge Palette. Um, we're not going to go for a heavily grunge look today because obviously I'm trying to recreate a can look that wasn't overly grungy. Um, so if you'd like me to do like a full on smudgy, really dramatic grunge look soon using the Lime Crime Palette, let me know and I'll do that next. So I'm just going to cover with, it's kind of just a warm bronzy orange colour. It actually popped a bit more on Christian, like I said, because she's got that pale skin, so any colour you put on kind of shows up a lot more. Whereas I've got this kind of slightly, uh, slightly bronze skin, although I'm not sure if it's translating on screen. A little bit of that. Nothing too over the top, and I'm using the colour Shell. So you guys will have seen from my really quite cheesy celebratory video that I finally reached 10,000 which is very exciting but I am aware that some people have found me through it's like interviews and stuff and they're not necessarily signing up because they like me. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, it doesn't go back down to under 10,000, I'm going to have to take down that video because that would be pretty embarrassing, rather upsetting. So hopefully newbies watching, um, you won't be, find me too offensive to watch. So she appears to have kind of eyeliner, like smudgy eyeliner on top, not like overly smudgy. Oh god, this one is broken down to the wood and I'm just scratching my eyelid now really. <laughs> But anyway, let's smudge what we've got on there with the other side. I'm using this is a Revlon Kajal. I actually decided to do this sit down as well because I was watching one of Lily Melrose's um, just chatty makeup. Um, I think it was an everyday makeup one. I just found it incredibly relaxing to watch someone just do it, but not in a like super arty like professional format just like chilling down and you know having a few minutes catch up with a mate sort of thing oh my god i'm already at nine minutes how do i do that where does the time go shut up oh next up i'm just gonna curl my lashes ding 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 so at the moment i'm currently not going to any festivals this summer which is very strange for me and it obviously there's a good chance that may change but I've not had time to apply for any or sort any of it out um, and I don't like asking the bands because I don't want to be that guy um, so yeah at the moment I'm not going to any and I wonder if I should just have kind of like a summer where I try and go on lots of different travels not necessarily far-flung travels but like around the UK Obviously that involves money, so I'll have to see how it goes, but I am wondering whether that might be a nice alternative summer for me. You know, something out of the norm. Um, because I have been doing festivals now, God, probably 15 years plus. It's not that they're not fun anymore or anything, but, you know, change 
sometimes is quite an invigorating thing and good for you. Saying this, tomorrow I'll probably be telling you that I'm actually doing 10 festivals and everything's changed. So, we'll see. By the way guys, I recently had some laser treatment on my skin to see if it would help my acne. I was really pleasantly surprised because you don't tend to see positive effects till the second or third one and I already have seen some positive effects so I'm really excited to see you know, how much better it will be after the third one but I'll do a separate video on that soon. What's that on my cheek? Who knows? <laughs> To the lovely girl that suggested I do a makeup one video, you'll probably go, if I knew it was going to be this crap, I wouldn't have asked you to do this. So sorry about that. She has a rather bold red lip on, so I'm going to apply this. And this is a really nice moisturising one, one from a body shop. Uh, oh, look how glossy and lovely that is. Sorry I can't look at you as much in this video because I'm holding my mirror as low as possible just so I don't have to stretch my arms as much. Hope you understand. You would benefit from me using um, a liner before. It almost looks a bit clowny because you can't see where the definite line of my lip is. But I've just added some eyeliner to my lower line there. My lower line? To my eye line. That's the word, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to smudge that a little bit more. Um, not too much, like I said, it's not a full-on grungy look. Just a little bit smoky. Smoky. Oh, look at that absolute mess. I'm just going to refer to the picture and just check I've got everything down. This lip colour is not quite right. I'm going to be right back. Yeah, hers had a bit more of like an orangey tinge to it, so I'm just going to add a bit of orange using my MAC So Show colour. That's better. Oh, lipstick teeth. Always, guys. My hair is a mess, but I feel like that's fine. I feel like we can get away with that because she kind of likes that dishevelled, lived in hair. She doesn't do anything too polished, so I think that she would support the fact that I haven't done my hair today. Um, actually, I would benefit from actually almost enhancing it and adding some darker roots there. So yeah, if you want to create the, the grungy look, you can get these things from the hair experts. They're like hair powders. They're meant to cover greys and root greek gre gre growth root regrowth but obviously if you want roots this is great for that as well so like you can just darken the areas if you have just bleached your hair or just had it freshly dyed but you want that grungy kind of grown out look just for a night then these powders are pretty good for that and quite easy to do so that's an idea um, obviously I haven't really talked about the products or anything but I'll put them in the description box below um, this really wasn't a makeup tutorial, was it? It was more of just a catch up and a way to kind of connect with you guys again because I have felt a bit absent from the channel. Um, please head to my blog because I am doing lots of blog posts at the moment. That seems to be where I am being able to vent a bit more easily at the moment. So please do head there as well. Um, and thanks for watching as always. And again, thank you for helping me reach my milestone. Um, love you lots. Hope you're all well.